Hey guys, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, I want to show you guys a device I didn't know existed up until a couple days ago. This is a semiconductor tester. Now, more specifically, this is the Atlas DCA55. You can find it on Amazon. But one of the reasons I want to show this to you is because traditionally, I inspect semiconductors using a multimeter, using either continuity mode, ohms, or using diode mode. But this guy, there's so much more. So let's go ahead and take a look. I've got many examples of different semiconductors over here. Let's see if it can identify which ones are good and which ones are bad. In the box, we have a manual, pretty simple. And then I've got the little tester. It's got three leads with the little micro hooks on them. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to hook up this semiconductor analyzer to each of the legs of your semiconductor. Just like so. And then when all three of them are hooked up, you turn it on, it analyzes it, and it gives you some sort of diagnostics. So this one here, it says short circuit on the green and the blue. Try one of these guys over here. Now, I haven't tested this in circuit, just on components that I know are bad out of circuit. It says common cathode diode network. Very cool. Okay, so the cool thing is, it says common common cathode but then when you hit this button here it then gives you your pin out on which cable is connected to what so you can see which one's your cathode which one's your anode how cool is that it gives you the stats for your device so this is a good one obviously I just took it straight out of the bag but let's say I have some of these ones, which are, I use for training aids. You don't know which ones are good, which ones are bad, so you have to be able to use your multimeter to figure that out. But now with this guy, you just hook up in any random order. Total short circuit on the red, the green, and the blue. Obviously this one's bad. Let's try, let's try this little guy right here. How cool is that? <laughs> let's do it again so you guys can see it. It's actually very quick. Once you pull it up, so it says that it's unknown or faulty component. Let me make sure that I get my third lead on it pretty good. Let's try it again. It says short circuit on green to blue, which on some of these is probably true. I think that one was a defective chip. And what's really cool about this is you can hook them up in any random order. Oh, here we go. Some of these tiny chips are a whole different situation. Enhancement mode, P-channel, MOSFET. How cool is that? And then it says uh, which the gate, the drain, and the source. You can say it's threshold, it's current. How cool is that? So anyway, guys, uh, this is a Peak Electronic Design Atlas DCA55. I haven't tested it in circuit yet, but I would imagine that probably its results are going to show you, at least if you got um, short circuits. Uh, might not be able to identify accurately in circuit, but close enough. So 
neat little device. Definitely going to be part of my kit from now on.